you have your Bibles open to Matthew chapter 26. For the men who lead up here in the morning in directing our thoughts for the Lord's Supper, for those that don't, we'll acknowledge it, it, it is it's difficult because on one hand, it is something that we all do together. But on the other hand, it's something that we all do extremely personal and that we do for ourselves. And so, and that's as it should be. If you'll see in Matthew chapter 26, beginning in verse 17, it says, Now the first day of the feast of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus, saying unto him, Where wilt thou that we prepare for thee to eat the Passover? And he said, Go into the city to such a man, and say to him, The master saith, My time is at hand, and I will keep the Passover at thy house with my disciples. And the disciples did as Jesus had appointed them, and they made ready the Passover. Now when the even was come, he sat down with the twelve, And as they did eat, he said, Verily I say unto you that one of you shall betray me. And they were exceedingly sorrowful. And began every one of them to say to him, Lord, is it I? And he answered and said, He that dippeth his hand with me in the dish, the same shall betray me. The Son of Man goeth as it is written of him. But woe unto that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. And it, has been, it would have been good for that man if he had not been born. Born. Then Judas, which betrayed him, answered and said, Master, is it I? And he said to him, Thou hast said. Now, just a couple of thoughts I'd like to share with you this morning about this. And I, I don't know how many times I've read this passage. I don't know how many times I've heard this passage uh, referenced, read, alluded to, quoted as we partake of the Lord's Supper. But we usually pick up from there and we go on. But there's some things I'd like for you to, for, uh, for you to notice this morning, and one of those is this was not our Lord's first Passover meal. Matter of fact, he'd probably had 32 or 33 before this point, and every time that the, uh, the observing of that Passover uh, followed very strict traditions and very strict guidelines for the Jew. And as they got together and as they had prepared the Passover sacrifice and as they prepared all the other things that go into that meal, each of those things on that plate and, and in those dishes symbolized something in the Passover meal and all looked back for everybody that partook of them except for Jesus. And I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but that Passover meal was something that Jesus had partaken of, like I said, 32 or 33 times that he'd been there. And every one of those times, it, it did look back, but it also looked forward. And I can't help but wonder that every time that our Lord, when he was 10, when he was 20, when he was 30 and beginning his ministry, when he was with the disciples, when he, was, when he had Judas with him, who would betray him? Every time he observed that meal, he knew what was about to happen. And so it wasn't a... It wasn't just a looking back at the salvation that God had for Israel and Egypt, but it also looked forward to the salvation that God had for us. And so as we remember and as we look at these things, I think we need to be mindful that, that what we look at and consider as torture, and it really was, and that mockery of a trial, which it was, that Jesus went through for every, every one of us, he knew what was going to happen. And every time he had that Passover, it wasn't just a it wasn't just a memory, but it was a it was a type of prophecy, a type and anti-type that he would fulfill. And he did that for us. And he did that not not in, in memory of us, but in love for us. And we're asked by our Lord that this is something that we do in remembrance of him until he comes. And we have the privilege and we have the honor to remember those things and to be a part of those things together, but also individually. Let me continue. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. You know what? They may not have known what that meant, but we know what that means. Would you pray with me? 
humble, gracious, loving, heavenly Father, we're thankful, Father, for the day that you've given to us. We're thankful for this memorial that we have to remember the sacrifice that was given uh, by your Son on our behalf. And we know that we, we are not worthy of that, but we are, have been asked to partake of it in a worthy manner. And so we, we pray that the manner in which we partake of it this morning is worthy, is remembering of that sacrifice, is remembering of that love. And we ask you to please, please bless this bread as your son's body has blessed us. We're thankful it's in my son's name we pray. Amen. If you'll look now, beginning at verse 27, it says, And he took the cup and gave thanks, and gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of it. For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it anew with you in my Father's kingdom. Now this isn't the first time I've thought about that, but we have that opportunity and we are in that kingdom and we do partake of this fruit of the vine as a remembrance of what that blood did for us, and what it does for us. And while Jesus may not be sitting here and taking up a little cup of that fruit of the vine with us, he certainly is with us, and we do take it with him. So please pray with me. Most gracious, loving Heavenly Father, we're thankful, Father, for the, all the wonderful blessings of life that you give to us. And we're most mindful at this time, he Heavenly Father, of the most precious thing that has been given for us, and that is your body. And now, as we partake of this, we remember your blood, and let us always be mindful of how valuable it was and what it did for us and let us partake of that remembering that sacrifice and knowing that it's it's through the sacrifice that your son gave that one day and right now that we can be in your presence and be pleasing to you please bless us as we partake in thy son's name we pray